I found an AliExpress kit for levitating things. And I thought that it is an interesting item and I want to test it if it is worth buying, if it works at all, and if it is easy to use or hard to use, does it look cool or not. So let's unbox it and let's test it. What is it, how it works, if it is cool or not. Let's start with the smaller package. This is probably the power supply. We have one connection like this. Here we have a power supply, AC to DC and adapter. And it's a 12 volts, two amps power supply. So a classic one. Now let's see this main module. Quite well protected. Here we have a magnet on the top and below more layers of protection. And this is the main module. We can see the electronics. So we probably should make ourselves an uh, enclosure for it for a longer usage. It is uh, cool that we can see all the electronics, but we have to be careful not to make any short circuit. So this is the magnet that we should levitate over it and we put things on it up to 500 grams. I will try to test it. First, let's connect this cable. We should have a place to connect it right here. I can see connection. So if we want to, we can change it to other end. But this is the classic connection that we can put outside the box if you make enclosure for it. And we don't receive any manual. I will try to run it with a manual without destroying it. And we will see if it is easy or not for use. For protection at start, so I won't destroy it in the first second, I will put this protection on top. So if the magnet would try to make a short circuit, there will be a chance that it won't happen because of this protection. I don't trust it yet fully. <laughs> Let's connect this power supply and we will see what will happen. Let's connect it. We have diodes around, blue diodes. And now the scary moment. I have this magnet that they gave us and will it levitate or will everything explode? Let's be careful. It didn't work. It rushed to the side. So not for a short circuit, but it didn't work for the first time. Let's try again. Okay. It's not so hard, but we have to be careful to place it in the correct place. And now it is levitating. You can see I've removed the material. Let's try to lift it to show you better. Okay, better not move it. Let's move the camera closer so you will better see how it looks like. I can show you from this perspective that it is levitating. And here you can see that it is spinning. So it is working. Now let's try to add some weights. I have a scale to test what I will do. Let's turn it on. Let's start from something light. I have a UV meter from last video. 
let's see how much it weighs 82 grams so less than 20 percent of the maximum capacity it is still spinning let's try to place this UV meter on top it is tall but it's off center okay let's put it flat it will be easier the magnet connected to the batteries in it and it moved so be careful what you place on the magnet because it may affect the magnet let's remove the batteries let's scale it again without batteries 68 grams and let's try to levitate it again let's see it still connects because of the screws but let's try again if I will be able to it's not that easy to levitate things on it and the magnet shattered as you can see let's try something less magnetic I have a bottle it weighs 42 grams let's put it again and let's try with it better use it with non-metal objects because the magnet moves forward to the metal things and it misaligns it from the device and it falls but non-magnetic things it works much better let's find something non-magnetic but heavier I have heavier object right here 150 grams let's try it it is holding it let's see if I have something even heavier that doesn't contain metal 209 grams bottle let's try it it's a little bit damaged bottle so it's hard to place it in perfect center but it is holding it let's try something bigger a shoe around 300 grams will I be able to center it no it is hard to place a big object on it and the magnet moved so it is an interesting gadget but it's hard to find a useful situation for it for me because we need no metal item or we have to first connect this magnet to the metal item and then align it but we have to place the magnet in a center of mass that it will stay correctly on this device or we can place non-metal items but we have to place them quite well so big items are hard to center correctly only smaller items are easy to put and we have to be quite careful when we put items on it because it easily can be misaligned and stop levitating so a cool gadget but in practice uh, hard to use in a useful situation more as a gadget than something really useful but if you want to show your friends something cool you can show, it, show them it one thing that it does good because of this levitation it has really low friction so when we place something on it and spin it 
it spins for a long time. So that's cool, but but it has its limitation. And it will spin like this for quite a while. So if you want to show your friends something cool, you can buy it and play with it. But if you want to use it for something useful, it's hard, but maybe some smart people can use it in a smart way. And that's all for today. Like, subscribe and be nice.